Hello guys, welcome to Hey Medicus, a place dedicated for campus reviews. And this is the campus review of Dr. S. C. G. M. C. Nanded Part Two. Now, when I made Part One, I got a lot of comments and reviews that the actual reality of the college does not match with your video. So, in this video, I've tried to cover each and aspect of the college as realistically as possible without any special effects or cinematic edits. So, without wasting any further time, let's get on with it. So, as soon as you enter, you are welcomed by this huge uh, nameplate. This is the main entrance of our college, and in front of this, there is a highway. This is a new construction, and Sumit is here to help me with this video. This is MH26, and this is the main college entrance. Now we'll head towards the main college building. As soon as you enter the main gate, main building's entrance is on the right side, so we'll be going there now. and this is the main college building this is the main entrance of the building you can see all the professors standing around here in the last video i was not able to cover everything about this campus but in this video i'll try to cover as much as possible now we are heading towards the college canteen but i will not show you guys that yet we'll cover it in the last we'll head towards the library now, now this right here is the girls hostel I'll add photos and videos of girls hostel later. This is our library. There are both UG and PG sections inside. So this is how the library looks. This is the UG section and on this side is the PG section. And we also have Wi-Fi inside the library. When we took the admission there was nothing on this side. Now as you can see all the trees and all have been planted. There's also this new parking and look at this sky it is very scenic in the morning and in the evenings but in the afternoon it burns like hell now we'll be heading towards the boys hostel uh, i'll show you the room size occupancy and everything this is the entrance of boys hostel As you guys will be taking admissions for year 2024 and later, I don't think this hostel will be available to you guys. There's a new construction going on for the new, for the new boys hostel. I'll show you that in the later part of this video. So this is how the entrance of the boys hostel looks. And as you go inside, you are welcome with this volleyball court on this side. This is the volleyball court. Volleyball matches happen over here during the night time or during the evening. This is the recent addition to the boys hostel which is the table tennis table. It was there earlier also but on the third floor. Now we have shifted this on the ground floor. So it is easily accessible to everyone and students usually pay, play this the whole day. Now I'll show you a typical boys hostels room. Uh, this is the ground floor where usually the first years live. As you can see, it is not so clean. And three to four people live in the same room. Uh, but scenes are different once you get upgraded to higher years. Uh, second years, third years, fourth years live on the higher floors. And I'll show you my room later. This is the hostel parking. Helmets are compulsory once you enter and exit from this gate. So that's why people park over here. This shows that no matter how many safety concerns you apply on the people, there is always a possibility they'll choose that they'll choose the unsafe but the easier path. 
this is the faculty house also called the guest house if someone is visiting you they can book their accommodations over here there's also a mess inside so you can have food also as our campus comes under SRTMU university uh, there is a gym and a table tennis court and a badminton court over here which you can obviously subscribe to and then use it it is not completely free of cost so i'll be showing you that next so this is where the badminton court and table tennis court is i don't know if i'm allowed to shoot inside but we'll try it is a full fledged sized badminton court they also have a gym on this side of the campus uh, it is closed now or i think there's this timing is for girls for boys it is in the morning 7 to 9 am i guess now we are heading towards the legend bansi mama ki tapri if you're following this channel for a long time you might have seen the reference in km's video <laughs> right over here is bansi mama ki tapri very affordable good taste uh, not so hygienic but it works and right behind this is a triangular ground very famous uh, as i mentioned in the last video most of our sports event take place on this ground right opposite to this ground is the library and you can also get a view of the entire college from this side Now we'll be heading to the hospital area, where we have our casualty, our OPDs, our RPDs. First years usually don't uh, need this information because they won't be attending their clinic so much. For them, the most important part is the college building and the hostels, the accommodation and the food. Now the thing that I forgot to mention here is the mess services that is available in our hostel. We actually have a corporate mess inside the boys hostel as well as the girls hostel. The taste and the food quality is not up to the par as per my opinion. It is very spicy and sometimes very unhygienic, but for the price it gets the work done. There are multiple options available outside the hostel where you get mess services in terms of tiffins. Since you guys will be taking admissions after 2024, the mess services inside the hostel will cost around 2000 2500 rupees and outside the hostels where there are multiple options the price range will be 3000 to 3500 rupees per month this is the hospital area this is the parking and right in front of the parking we have our casualty so this is the casualty now as we move ahead there's this hospital canteen over here and In front of this is the hospital IPD. On the way to the IPD, we have our hospital canteen over here. It is mostly for the patients and uh, resident doctors. Students usually don't sit over here. This is the juice center. And this is the canteen. and as you go ahead from the canteen area there is this ipd on the left side i'll show you a board in this in a second uh, the board is not visible yes bus so this left side on the left side there is an ipd this is the ipd area and uh, in the morning and and during the night uh, there is distribution of free food over here so patients can take the benefit of that and as we move ahead from this side there is mortuary in front of us and on the right side there is a dharmashala so patients relatives who want to stay for a longer duration or for a day or two they can book their accommodations over here and stay it is very clean and very affordable so this is the dharmashala that i was talking about it is very clean and very affordable Now we are going towards the new boys hostel which is getting constructed over here. The rooms in this will be very spacious and uh, newer batches will be lucky to uh, get accommodated over here. So we are now at the uh, new boys hostel site. You can see that right behind me. It is still under construction as you can see. It will still take I think a year or two to get this done completely. It is very spacious as I have heard. 
there is still a long way to go but newer batches will be lucky to get accommodated in this hostel now i am also coming at this construction site for the first time but by the initial looks of it it looks very promising new new boys hostel is going to be crazy it seems there's some structure over here i think there's a staircase and these are the lineup of the rooms let's see the room size if we can so this is how new boys hostels room will look like it is very spacious it will accommodate around 4 students and the speciality here is that it will have a combined washroom which is great and the view here is also amazing i'm feeling kind of jealous for the new students they'll get to see sunset from the new boys hostel there's still a lot of construction left to be completed over here but once gets uh, once this gets completed it will look amazing now we are heading to the most beautiful and most latest addition to our campus which is our college canteen it is very beautiful and the taste is amazing and this is our new college canteen it is one of the best places that have recently added to our campus as you can see now coming to the faculty and the teaching staff the teaching staff and the faculty are very supportive clinical postings happen regularly it depends on you whether you want to attend it or not and all the resident doctors and teachers are very supportive and they guide you in every aspect and the seniors here are also very supportive if you have any doubt or you need any help at all you can come directly to me or anyone else in the hostel there's no issue at all everyone here is to help you and guide you in each and every way possible one of the things at the last but not the least is that our campus is very beautiful for sure but it is not yet very safe during night time uh, but our faculties and especially our deans are are working a lot to keep us, to keep our campus safe and especially salute to the mesco guards that work day and night to keep our campus safe but still there is a long way to go because it is not a closed campus the road in between our campus leads to another village so we cannot uh, completely seal off the area of the campus so many of the unknown people roam around the campus and it is not quite safe during the night time to just roam around here and there so usually people avoid these areas where we are traveling right now and you should also avoid that once you join this college so that was it guys i hope it was helpful and i hope that it solved many of your queries if you still have any doubts or you have any questions feel free to put up your questions in the comment section i will try to reply to as much as questions as possible i'll reply to all of them mostly so see you guys in the next video until then bye bye